Hi, today I'm going to be talking about Elliot, a soldier's fugue. Um, question one. So what I noticed compared to the other plays is how this play has a musical aspect and it is a musical, kind of unrelated to the other plays. Although there might have been some music, it didn't really focus around that aspect. And I also noticed how I'm able to emphasize with Elliot, since the setting's current compared to other plays that took place in centuries before. And Elliot served in the Iraq War, which is recent, and he's like around my same time zone and same generation. And I also noticed how like the story of each character is represented traditionally while the other play seems mimic the fugue structure, obviously. And I kind of toned in on the pathos and emotional appeal through the audience feeling sympathy, like relating to the PTSD, the impact of war and nature that it had on this family and the theme motif of, vi motif of violence throughout the play. And the play kind of elaborates on the physical gain experienced through like wartime injuries. Uh, number two, the values I saw were music, obviously through the fugue structure, and Grandpa brought his flute to Korea and would play it and soothe his fellow soldiers with botch, and his son like carried around this flute. Uh, the second value I saw was identity, like ethnic and cultural identity with Elliot coming from a Puerto Rican family, and all able to relate to each other and identify with each other through their experience of conflict and violence and war. So that's kind of family identity too. And it's also present when Elliot like realizes the suffering he went through kind of related to his father's after reading the letters his father uh, sent his grandpa at, like that were tucked away in the basement. And the third value I saw was trauma. So the play kind of captured Elliot's youthful innocence and then his transformation into all this war and gore. And the physical gain endured among three generations that was bottled up as a metaphor for like the psychological impact of war and trauma that it had on these three, three generations of people. And Elliot wonders why they were quiet, but that's because they were just trying to tuck it away and forget about it. Three, what I looked up was Barigra, which is a Puerto Rican, especially one who lives in the United States. And this applies to the context because that's obviously the family. Uh, number four, I think, well, in the play, Elliot and his father both served for the U.S. And they are sent home for being injured, which kind of shows how America just cares about productivity and efficiency. The American soldier is just another number or whatever and they don't really care about their overall life. Grandpa, however, served for Puerto Rico and he doesn't remember the pain and gore like his son and grandson do. And he remembers the good things like music and harmony, which kind of shows that America just kind of sends whoever out in the war and just cares when at all costs pretty much. Number five, in the play, Grandpa compares a fugue to the act of untying knots between the various melodies. I had to look it up. I found that a fugue is technically a music composition in which the main melody is imitated by different instruments into multiple parts. I think in the fugue scenes, like people narrate each other's actions and sometimes narrate their own. I believe that the war is kind of the main melody in the play and it's imitated by different instruments being people with them having to untie or tell their stories to contribute to the overall fugue. And then number six, the questions I have are why does prop Pop throw away his flute during the Vietnam War, and he's barely involved in music, unlike his son and father. And how do the differences in musical selections between Grandpop and Elliot reflect their personalities?